Welcome to CMS. We'll continue in the quantity surveying for construction project, quantity surveying for the civil work. We're still in the structure work. We finish the foundation. We'll start in the strap beam. As we know, the strap beams is the beams which is connecting the foundations together. As it is mentioned in the drawings, you can see in the layout, the strap beams connecting all the pile caps together can also connect the combined foundation or the neighbor or as per the design requirements so as we see for any strap beam it is it have a part outside the foundation and small parts inside the foundation it is interacted with the foundations itself so how we will deal with the strap beam in the cms if we go back for cms you will find here the page of strap beam as we said before for the foundation you'll find how to go for the main page if you need or how to go for QS or how to go back for the previous element or go next for the next element and this description of the strap beam it's mentioned the codes of the rebar and we'll see how we'll deal with this now we'll find here also which is the automatic uh, output the steel quantities for all diameter that's the total that's the concrete reinforcement concrete volume that's the ratio between the rebar and the concrete per kilogram rebar per, per cubic meter this is we are using this as a reference the volume of the blinding concrete the area of the waterproofing and the, that's the shutters area and that's the excavation required to execute the strap beam again only we can write only in the maronish cells the light or dark maronish whatever okay here we are jumping for the other strap beam either by scrolling the mouse or to press direct in the hyperlink okay We'll find here in the table of the strap beam that's the first maronish cell is the code or the type of the strap beam which as per the drawing the schedule of the strap beam here the the average of the concrete foundation depth how to deal with the intersection between the foundation and the strap beam you have to enter the the depth of the foundation which is intersect with the strap beam here is the width of the strap beam per meter you will put it here here is the depth also per meter put it here according to this you entered now the dimension of the strap beam and the dimension of the foundation which is, which is intersected with the strap beam balance now two items which is the length of the same type of the strap beam from center to center whatever we have fb1 you will enter the lens for each one center to center either you need to enter for each one separately or we can gathering together and put in one number it will not make any difference okay so in the first layer in the strap beam table you can put only the lens of the strap beam with the same type from center to center uh, what about the second layer the second layer here you will put the length of the strap beam which is intersected with the foundation from the edge of foundation to the column center why to be deducted from the volume of concrete only so it's it will be deducted from the volume of concrete only but the rebar will be continue okay so till here we enter the dimension the full dimension of the strap beam like this we'll we'll put all the dimension for all the strap beams with all types in the table as we so till now we complete all the dimension of the strap foundation okay what next the next is how to how to insert the reinforcement we will not calculate anything we will use only the, the schedule of the strap beam and enter the same number or same data which we have in the schedule we will enter in our table what's there in our table the first is the the bottom reinforcement 
which have straight, which have code A, and mid span B. Now, if we see, if you see here this drawing, you will find any type of beam. The main straight bar is the A. The mid span in the bottom called B. By default, A is equal 1.25 of the span. If this number not satisfying you or you are using any other kind of code, you can change this percentage. Here it's considered length A is 1.25 of full span. That means we have, we have the span which is center to center and it is passing the span with almost 1 8 for each side. This number can be changed according to the, with the code which you are working with. But there is a default number you will find like this. The mid span which is B, you will find here it is considered 0.75 from the center to center span. In the bottom steel it's, we consider two layers. Consider two layers. First layer is the normal layer. Second layer if applicable or if written in the schedule. But normally it is not used too much. So according to the schedule you will find how many rebar and what is the diameter of this rebar by very easy way if we are going if we are considering the straight bar of the bottom reinforcement it's considered now number of rebar and the diameter the same if we took about the mid the mid span how many how many rebar and what is the diameter of the rebar the rebar you can also choose from all of this as we mentioned before in the foundation if also we need to change the diameter as we did before we can change the diameter from the quant surveying rebar the same we'll do for the top rebar. Top rebar, as we see, we have straight, which is C, and that's the length, as it's considered. And we have extra top, which is above the uh, above the columns only, which can also consider as 0.6 from the length. Also, this length can be changed according to your code, but that's the that's by default. The same we can also put the uh, choose the, the number of rebar and the diameter for each type C and D. If we have another layer, also we can add it there. Then we're going for the sidebars. What are the sidebars? Which is E. If we have a sidebars for the beam, you have to enter also the, it is considered here the same length of the span. And you can enter the number of the rebar and the diameter. Last thing in the, in the rebar is the rings. How we'll enter the rings? The rings we have to enter the legs how many legs for this ring and what is the and how many ring per meter and what is the diameter if we took an example now for all this you can see here the strap beam as per this table we have two types stb1 and stb2 the size is 25 by 80 for stb1 stb2 is 30 by 90 and that's the reinforcement we have the bottom straight and mid span and the top we have straight and extra above support plus the stirrup the stirrup which is 10 milli each 15 centimeter how we can enter this in our table as we said here in the bottom straight we just enter five five numbers for five numbers 20 milli diameter in the mid span there is nothing so nothing here in the top the straight there's five rebar for 20 milli diameter in the extra top there is nothing for the strap for the stirrups he didn't mention any number of legs that means it is two legs only and it is 10 milli each 15 centi 15 centi that means almost seven rings per one running meter so we can consider here two legs 10 milli and here is seven so we finish now the rebar. What else we have in the strap beam? We have excavation. The same what we did in the foundation must be almost repeated in the foundation. We will add the depth, the common depth of uh, excavation, which is 1.5 meter. We'll put also the excavation slope, as we said, if the ex if the calculation according to the engineering, this must be 90 degree or the calculation took place according to the actual excavation on site, you can change the, the slope according to the soil degree. The workspace also 
as we said in the foundation that's the area for the shutters and the area for the labor to work which is not considered in the engineering calculation this is not considered in boomy again this is according to your principles in the poq according to the structure of poq you have to decide which way you will present your you will present your prices in the poq also enter the thickness of the bcc under the strap foundation you will enter also the uh, type the type of shutter and the excavation if there is any special excavation for any specific strap b that's the way to make or to calculate the strap you will find the output here is the total length of the strap that's the total volume of the concrete per cubic meter that's the total rebar for the steel okay here is the steel and concrete rebar ratio which is 188 which is very reasonable and that's the waterproof area and that's the shutters and that's the quantity of the excavation for this specific type of strap front. the same will be repeated for all strap teams by the same way at the end you will find the full output for all strap foundation you'll find here full quantity of rebar for each diameter the concrete volume the bcc volume the full waterproofing the full shutters and the full excavation for all the strap b so that's the way to calculate the strap foundation that's for now and see you in next video. Bye.